Cruiser, uh, 22 touches is a goal, mate. So you must be delighted to be back in the team. Yeah, obviously to come back in the team and play my role is um, pretty important. So um, just to get that opportunity, get a full full crack at it. So um, yeah, hopefully I had a good um, good game and um, played my role. So. Sometimes when you come in from VFL, apparently, uh, you can blow up a little bit in the AFL because of the different pace of the game. How'd you run it out? Um, yeah, not too bad in the end. It's better than what I thought. Obviously having a week off last week, so um, yeah, it was good to, good to get a full game and then test it out, test out the fitness and um, yeah, feel pretty good in the end. Pretty tough contest, especially in the first half, but then you guys were able to sort of uh, kick away in the second half? Yeah, obviously it was uh, a lot of stoppages and contested ball, so we needed to get on top, uh, top in the contested ball. And then when the game sort of panned out, started getting more open and sort of started running away with it. So it was good to run out the game. Good effort, mate. Thanks. Scotty, uh, injury injury cloud all week uh, with the groin. How did you go fitness-wise? Yeah, fine. Groin's a bit sore, but just got to manage it. So got through, got the win. It was good. You're not happy with your performance? Nah. Nah. It was shocking. Couldn't hit a target. When I got the ball, I turned it over. So... Not real happy. I was okay defensively, but maybe should have run away from the ball and just tell him to kick it away from me. That's how it felt. What's the reason for a game like that? Is that just something that just happens now and then? Uh, it's more decision making. Decision making was shocking. Kick short when I should have kicked long, kick long when I should have kicked short, played on when I should have held it up, fumbled it when I shouldn't have. Just everything that could go wrong went wrong. In the first, that was the first half. Uh, second, <laughs> second half, I was okay. Yeah, but no, it was. I think we were all like that in the first half. Everyone was probably weren't playing as well as we should have, and then second half we turned it, turned it around, and um, started playing the football that we know we can play. I've got to say that um, you know you, you look around the rooms and guys are getting nice in all different areas of their body, but having it where you've got it right now, it, it doesn't look too comfortable, mate. Like you've got it stuffed down the pants there. That that can't be good. That's, it's, it's definitely not fun. Uh, you got to position it just right. Um, if you get it wrong, then you're in all sorts. But it's not too bad at the minute. We'll see how we go for the rest of the time. Good on you, mate. Uh, Fiji came in uh, at the end of the game there. Uh, how, how do you reckon you went? And it must be good to be back in the side. Yeah, it was. It was very good to be out, to be back. I mean, um, had to come on and play a role. Um, so I did that and got a bit of the ball and ran and did what they. Uh, I hope they. I did what they wanted me to do. So it was good. Good to get on there anyway and uh, be amongst it again because it's been a long time and been missing it. So, mate, do you worry coming on as a sub that? Is, what if I can't have an impact? Does that sort of go through mine or you just got to be confident and just um, go for it? Yeah, well, I mean, you do think a lot because you sit on the bench for three quarters thinking, what if this, what if that? So you do think about it, but he's got to keep positive and just make sure when you come on, you actually make an impact for the team. So, yeah. Good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. Basti, we're all over you before the game. You had an outstanding match. Um, how are you feeling? Really good. It's a great win. Um, didn't, <coughs> didn't start the game off too well, but, um, you know, we changed what we needed to at half time and, it's great to get the four points, really good. What was the message at halftime? I think it was just our overuse with the ball. Um, we probably handballed too much when you got Drewy sitting up forward one on one and uh, he's one of the best key forwards in the competition and we needed to kick it to him to uh, give us you know, first use. So um, just that overuse and you know, kick it to Drewy. Mate, back home and uh, people in the stands are ripping the seats out and you know, punching the TV and that when you guys are flicking it around. From a player's point of view, what is actually going through your mind when you're overusing it? I don't know, I think um, just blokes cutting off the angles a bit too much and cutting um, through the ball user's vision and calling for the ball and that's why you tend to give it. So just got to had to be considered with the way we uh, went about it. So And we changed that after half time and that's why we had a com comfortable, uh, pretty comf comfortable win. <laughs> so it's as much the guy with the ball as the guy without the ball that's running yeah, through. Yeah, that's it. And we, as I said, we had Drewy up forward and we just need to kick it to him one-on-one -on -one because we know he's going to mark it most times. What about Drewy's effort? I mean, he's been under the weather all week. He's got a virus. He's as sick as a dog. No pun intended. Um, but he played so well. He's a gun and I think he was running laps before the game at Aegis Park. So for him to get up and he's a freak and uh, for him to get up and have that kind of performance is just unbelievable. And that's why he's one of the best players in the competition. Well, mate, thanks for letting us uh, have a little insight into your match day preparation and well done. No worries, thank you.